Hi, I'm Terry Pundiak. I'm here to talk to you about something very exciting and effective at controlling your appetite. Very effective, very inexpensive, and very safe for the average person. Um, it's a product that's over the counter. You can buy that today at any drugstore and many supermarkets. It's something that people have been taking for, millions of people have been taking for 20 years or more, 30 years. Um, and there's a possibility that you could make your own uh, system that will be just as good without buying anything. But I'll get into that later. What I call this diet is um, a magic smooth mitt diet. And that's to get a little excited about names. I discovered this about two or three weeks ago at a conference when it was reinforced that food does not satisfy you when it's in your stomach. Food in your stomach does not turn off your hunger. Food in your duodenum does. That's the pipe that just gets out of the stomach. So, a little background. The stomach has a valve at the top and the bottom. The, the valve at the bottom stays tight until the food's sort of digested up the way it wants it to be, and then it opens up and lets the food get down. And when the food's down past the stomach, your hunger stops. Now, another trick is, from I realized that water, when you drink water and you're thirsty, and you need water, this water gets through the stomach very rapidly. Pizza takes an hour or so before uh, I can put five pieces of pizza in there and I'm still hungry. So food stays in the stomach a long time before it gets out. Water goes through rapidly. Now, if we put something in water like Metamucil, a bulk laxative seed powder, a natural seed powder, if you've ever had that or seen it, you mix it up, slightly gritty, it sticks to the glass. It probably also will stick to the duodenum. And so, by taking a very dilute amount, I suggest a half a teaspoon of Metamucil in 12 ounces of water, maybe 16 ounces, but at least 12 ounces of water, half a teaspoon of Metamucil, very dilute, won't cause GI distress or problems, but it will go through the stomach very rapidly, coat the duodenum, turn off your your hunger hormones, and you can do what you want. You can eat as much as you want or as little as you want because you won't be starving. You won't even be hungry. So that's the trick. I found what I've found works for me at this point, and I've lost about 15 or 20 pounds in two or three weeks. Uh, um, is a half a teaspoon four times a day, about a half hour before you want to eat on an empty stomach, half hour before you want to eat, and maybe around 8 o'clock at night, in the evening, late evening, so you don't have that crazy nighttime starvation too. So about four times a day, a half a teaspoon, that seems to work for me, maybe a little more, maybe less frequently, I don't know. Uh, I just started this, but I just know it's working very well. Um, and I found I, I drink a fair amount of coffee, so particularly coffee for breakfast and lunch is probably okay. In fact, it probably helps. Coffee tends to relax your upper stomach, uh, the, other, the upper stomach valve, uh, it possibly loosens the bottom one as well. And it's interesting. Smokers, we know smoking affects the upper valve too. It very likely affects the lower valve and loosens the lower valve. So when people do eat, the food pops through faster. So they're not as hungry. So smokers are thinner, possibly because it relaxes this valve. Chubby people probably have a tight valve, really tight valve. So food stays, lays in the stomach for a long time before it comes out. Now, uh, and it's a, it's a death spiral because the more the hungrier you are, the more you get, the hungrier you are, the hungrier you are, and all you do is get fatter and fatter. Um, but this, this, at least this diet, this process is an education because you will notice you don't have to be hungry. You're, it's not wired in your brain that you have to eat like a horse every day at every meal. And so that's a very beautiful feeling to, to realize that you don't have to have that. It is some sort of screwy hormonal problem. 
And so try that if you can. I'll tell you, if you have some medical conditions that you should, you got to worry about. Those, those things are this. If you're on a pill called warfarin or coumadin, you must seek your, phys your family physician, help, whoever's managing that, that coumadin and, and, and warfarin, they need to know this. You need to watch this much more carefully. It's very likely that you're not eating as much and taking this uh, Metamucil, uh, then it's very likely that your warfarin coumadin needs will change. And that's very dangerous. If it changes and nobody knows about it, you can bleed, hemorrhage, you can have a stroke. Uh, so if you're on these pills, you need to make sure your physicians are well aware of it, that they're, you need to watch it more carefully. Uh, and tell them exactly the kind of diet you're talking about. They, in fact, everyone, everyone should see their physician anyway for this for w one major reason. The people working for the medical insurance companies are a bunch of bastards. They're paying doctors almost nothing anymore. And so your doctor needs to see you anyway. So go see, go, see the, go see your doctor and try to make it feel better. But warfarin, coumadin, you must see your doctor. And make sure they understand what's happening here. And number two, diabetics. If you're a diabetic on insulin or on diabetic medication, it's absolutely essential that your physicians, the people managing your, your blood sugars with you, that they are closely under, closely, that they're widely, that they're highly informed about what's happening and that they can watch you carefully. Because if you're not going to feel like eating, you'll, you won't eat as much. And your needs for insulin and the needs for your, uh, your diabetes medicines may dramatically change and it could lead to death from low blood sugars. So you need to have your physicians closely monitor that. Now if you're just a, a healthy person except for the fact that you're fat, uh, I, I can't possibly see how there could be much trouble with this. But again, talk to your doctor. Uh, inform them of this, make sure that you're working with them for several reasons. Partly because I don't want any liability about this at all. Let your doctor worry about it, not me. Uh, again, this is an over-the-counter medicine that you're going to be using that is not wildly different than the dose the package says. Uh, so, I recommend what works for me is sugar-free, smooth, orange smooth, Metamucil, it's not too expensive, uh, half a teaspoon, four times a day, with a tall glass of water, 12 to 16 ounces of water, mix it up quickly, down it quickly, on an empty stomach, and you should be able to notice that there's no horrible hunger in your life anymore. Uh, if you find that you're still extremely hungry, it's not working for you. Stop the darn thing. But if it works for you, uh, let me know. Uh, send me some money if you like. Uh, again, the insurance companies aren't paying very well anymore, so I uh, appreciate the help too. Um, good luck, and uh, uh, hope it works for you as well as it worked for me. So, so again, um, review of this is that food in your stomach does not stop hunger. Food in your duodenum stops hunger. The way to get the food into the duodenum is to trick the stomach into thinking it's just water, but the water has um, this fiber in it that's, that's slightly dissolved in it. It'll pop through, coat the duodenum, shut off your hunger hormones, and you won't have this horrible, panicking, terrible hunger anymore. Uh, that's as far as I see. I th think about a half a teaspoon, four times a day works. Now, if this works real well, you can see that this, this stuff will come off the market quickly. Uh, it won't be off the shelves. You could possibly use any style of Metamucil. You could possibly use the generic brand Metamucil as well. But I know this works for me. 
And then if that doesn't, if everything goes off the market, I would suspect a lot of other things might work. I'm, su I'm suspect some pulpy tomato juice, but diluted. So two ounces of tomato juice in 12 ounces of water. Uh, that might do the same thing to trick the stomach to let it go through quickly. Let it go through the stomach quickly, get into influence the duodenum. And uh, certainly uh, home ground uh, seed type things would work as well, ground uh, um, uh, sunflower seeds or something like that mixed with water, very dilute, something like that, some natural seed powder would work just as well, I suspect. Uh, this is a big revelation. It should revolutionize the whole approach to our being fat as, uh, as we are. Good luck. I hope it works for most of you. Again, be careful. Make sure your physician is closely uh, um, informed and working with you because your needs, uh, medical needs, may change dramatically. Uh, so good luck.